You like my food, you know. I do. I do it for the women. They may hate me for it. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Unboxing Miss Prime. Today, we have Optimus Prime from Transformers The Last Night. You can see right there, Transformers Last Night, H8 Nut from Hasbro. There's a picture of Optimus right there, as well as uh, Premiere Edition, or Premiere, as the Brits would say it. There's an Autobot symbol there. There's another picture. Let me move Optimus out of the way here. We have another picture of Optimus here, looking badass. Uh, on the side here, Optimus Prime, Earth's greatest protector. On the back here, we have a picture of Grimlock as uh, another figure you can purchase. Here is uh, vehicle mode, as well as Optimus in robot mode. Looks pretty cool. Your usual legal garb, all that stuff. Voyager class. I don't know if I've said that already, but there you go. Voyager class. And there's part of the other picture, as well as Transformers again on the side, and nothing really on the top other than some, I guess, Cybertronian language. Okay, so let's put the box aside, and now let's take a look at Optimus himself. And, uh, oh, shield comes off, but the shield is attached back here, so that's what the shield looks like. Pretty cool. And that's the little pin that it goes into. We'll put that aside. Uh, if we take a closer look here, if I can get it into focus, there we go. We have an Autobot symbol there. The flames have some really nice detail. It's a little darker than the, uh, the other one. Wish the windows weren't so tinted or black. Wish they were clear so you could see on the inside, but that's a minor little feature. You can't really pick it up on camera, but the blue and the plastic itself has metal flakes in it, but it's kind of hard to see, which gives it a nice shiny detail. If you look on the other side here, we can see he's kind of well hidden. And we have a sword that comes out. You can get this out of here without breaking it. There we go. So here's the sword really nice got nice details engraved into the plastic mold itself we'll set that aside and here we have uh, Optimus he's kind of tucked away in there you see his hands we have the wheels actually spin which is cool so you can roll them around if you want a little bit out of focus there as usual my brain is out of focus I'm sorry gentlemen ladies and gentlemen kids boys and girls okay see, he rolls you can just Roll them across there. That's really nice. So enough details aside about the truck mode. So now let's get him into his badass robot form. Okay, so here we have him in robot mode, and I must say, the detail on this guy is ridiculous. If you take a look, even just at the chest piece here, you see like all the, oh man, I wish my camera would focus a little better, but you see all the detail in here, like look at that. That is nice, and the silver on it is outstanding. It just makes it pop like it's actual metal which is what it should be. I wish there was a little more silver in the face, but I can't really complain about that. It still looks nice and detailed as well. And it looks like Optimus is like ready for battle as well. Backpack here is not too bad. Nice and small. And it fits nice and snug on there as well. One thing I forgot to mention in the truck mode is that there's a little holster right here for the sword to stick in. So if we just pop the sword in there. So that way it kind of sticks out in the back here. And then he just reaches up and gets it. I'm going to pull that out real quick. All right, so now let's go over articulation. 
the arms, um, oh, let me pop that back in. Okay. So the shoulder here is on a nice little swivel joint. And put that back down. And it also rotates as well. So that's really cool. You can do your action poses, especially, you know, if you want to put the sword in his hand here. You know, you can make them. I am Optimus Prime. Okay. I'm going to take that back out. The elbow is on a little pivot joint. And it's also on a swivel joint up here as well by the shoulder. So you get many points of articulation just for the arm itself. It's nice So we have... Hello. As I cover his face. Yes. I am Optimus Prime. Okay. The uh, arms don't move. Uh, the hands don't move. But that's okay. That's nothing to cry over. On the legs here, we have another little swivel joint for the hip, as well as another little swivel joint just right below it, so you can get those cool poses going. The knee is on a, I think they're called hinge joints, I don't even know. They're on a little hinge joint here, or a swivel, whatever you want to call it. So it's got nice, nice little leverage there. Uh, the feet don't move. They're kind of pretty much just stationary. They click into place. And it's the same thing on all sides, so that's actually really cool. So the head has some nice articulation as well. It's on a little ball joint, so you get pretty much some, some good movement here. It's not too much, but it serves well. Yes, it does. So I also want to definitely mention, again, the paint detail, which unfortunately I can't pick up too much here, but it just makes it pop. I just can't believe how much how good this looks like in the light it just shimmers and also speaking about the face once again I kind of uh, heard rumor that there is a version of him without his face plate on where it's just you see his mouth I haven't seen it but I saw it online uh, that rumor going around so uh, hopefully maybe I can find it if I find it I'll put a link to it down below if not then uh, sorry all right so let's get the weapons in his hand sword in right here let's give him a neat little pose okay shield goes in the arm here kind of hard to see there we go all right now he's ready for battle get him marked there we go so overall uh, this is a magnificent piece just the amount of detail in it and then the way the new Transformers are with so much more detail, like this just fits it perfectly. Especially for a Voyager class. The only other most detailed I've ever seen was the leader class Optimus Prime from Revenge of the Fallen, which I do have sitting on a shelf. And let me tell you, that transformation was the only transformation it will ever have. I am never touching that thing again. So we'll take one last little spin here of Optimus. which is just, oh, I'm drooling behind the camera. You can't see it, but I'm drooling. So I suggest everyone go out and get it now, especially since the movie is almost right around the corner. So get yourself all the Transformers, spend your money, max out your credit cards. If you guys like this video, please like it. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. Rate, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Sometimes the wheels are stiff, but this actually feels nice and smooth. <laughs> Keep your mind out of the gutter, folks.